All right. So we were just sharing in chat what are the different idea uh, reasons that brings us here today in this session to explore the topic of what do we want to achieve professionally. Um, and yeah, the a lot of ideas, current uh, career pivot questions, or for some, this is also a regular check point um, of reflection, um, how to support also yourself looking for next step. Great. Um, I'm just going to start with introducing myself. Um, I start from the other way. So I, I should share that I love playing improv theater and I like music and nature is amazing. Those are some of the things that um, came to my mind first when I thought, how do I introduce myself? Um, I live in Berlin and I'm calling in from Berlin, but I'm originally from Latvia. Um, maybe uh, you know it's a smaller country in the northern Eastern Europe. Um, so I think also where you come from uh, kind of also uh, influences a lot of time how you think and see the world, right? Um, I never had a question, the response to this question of like, what do you want to do when you grow up? I really found it terrifying. I think that's also prompted me to in include some of that uh, personal feeling of the scariest question being, what do you want to achieve professionally? I felt sometimes that something's wrong with me, that I don't know what I want to uh, do or I don't have this big purpose. Um, and yeah, I am also a certified transformational coach and I work as a career coach um, here uh, in Berlin at a tech boot camp. So I speak with a lot of um, adults changing their careers and pivoting into tech. Um, and getting into coaching was a career change for me as well. So as I said, this question of like, what do I want? you know, and the other things in the brackets, it, it has been very scary for me for a long time. Um, because I think a lot of times we have this prevailing feeling that everyone has this purpose and the ikigai uh, exercise that have you heard about it, the, the four parts of the you know, Venn diagram connected that you know what uh, you enjoy, what's uh, good for the world, what brings money, and then you just connect these dots and voila, you have your answer for why are you here on this planet Earth? Uh, a lot of times I felt like, but damn, where do I even start? Um, I don't even know what I want. How should I know? What's wrong with me? Um, and I think a, a big wish for me is also in this session today, uh, give the space for those of us who have had that feeling that we don't know, right? Francesca also shared in the chat, same here. Um, it's okay to not know. It takes time to figure it out. Um, and you can figure out your own path. And um, have you heard about the GROW model? The one that stands for goal, realities, options, and will? Well, my story um, is that uh, after working in different uh, careers, doing project and event management, um, uh, my contract ended and it was a pandemic. Um, and I thought, well, maybe I will take time to figure out what I really want to do because I've just been working in different roles and changing jobs because one project ended and the next started how about i figure out what i really want to do that would be great right um and i had the chance to do coaching uh, here in germany we have the state supporting us in um also getting career coaching and in the one of the first sessions after doing a personality test that also was an interesting experience um the coach wrote on the uh, whiteboard grow like vertically down and said so let's just start with what's your goal uh, and then we go through the realities options and will it's like okay interesting this is how i'm going to find my answer because i've been hearing coaching is what you need to do to figure it out and i just couldn't say what is my g what's my goal i was like ah uh, i don't know i want to learn german uh, yeah but why i was like um i live in germany i think it would be nice uh, I, sh I should do it. Yeah, but why? And without understanding that, like, where is this going? I ended up feeling like, yeah, well, I think I failed this coaching experience because I don't have the G. I cannot formulate my goal so I don't get to the other uh, letters that follow that. And it was a, um intense experience, I think. It made me think so much and uh, really had hard days following that session because I felt like a failure. But it took me a while to realize that it's okay to not have that G from the beginning. The goal in itself takes time to uh, form and it can become your goal as well to explore what do you want. 
I don't. Uh, I really want to uh, emphasize that it's nice uh, uh, to hear um, what which I didn't hear that much when I was looking also for other um, guidance that a lot of people don't know what they want and we are all living for the first time and figuring one day at a time, one step at a time. Um, so what are we going to explore today? So uh, how do we define career satisfaction, right? If there's something that uh, brings you here today, you have different uh, individual uh, ideas around uh, yeah, what you want to do next in your career. How can we check in with ourselves and start playing around with what we want, figuring it out? I hope we get time to try some impro tools for that as well, and we'll have enough time to reflect and also share. Throughout the session, please share in chat any of the comments. I think you already hear, uh, see uh, Anna Maria shared something. Please continue the conversation going. If anything uh, comes up and you want to uh, stop me or ask a question, don't hesitate to do that. So yeah, the career compass, uh, I think also is a great analogy, right? Like the compass that is showing us where we're going, where do we want to go? Assuming that, yeah, the compass, it always shows the North, but you get to define your own North. Um, and I guess in the middle, it's you, right? You cannot really run away from you. Uh, your North will be different and your North star will look different than others. And a lot of times we have this FOMO of, but but others are doing this and it's so natural that we compare each other uh, or compare ourselves to other people. That's just how our brain has grown to be um, as great it is uh, today. Um, but always come back to you. If, if, if you're thinking about your career and your uh, career satisfaction, what is at large maybe the lifestyle that you want? how much finances you need to keep that up, what kind of impact you want, you know, or what, uh, how do you want to feel? So those are also parts of this Ikigai model that you've heard about, but um, any point can be an entrance of, for exploration and it takes time. So um, let's kind of uh, look into that. Um, I can share from my side what has really helped me. Uh, my guiding ideas is also that career satisfaction comes from not what you get to do, but who you get to be while doing your job. Um, that really resonates with me as a transformational coach, going to deeper questions of, of you, like giving the luxury that we have, if we can think about the career, who do I get to be while doing the job? How do I show up most authentically uh, doing this job? I'll probably be sending emails in whatever kind of role I, I do in this digital world, but, What's the content of the emails? What are these emails for, right? What do I am achieving and contributing to? Uh, we learn by doing action before motivation. Um, a lot of times it just is about taking the first step and the rest will follow. Um, when we hear people talk about productivity, they say, just do something for 10 minutes and, and you'll find yourself doing 10 more minutes and an hour will pass by. So there's something about just getting started. And maybe for some of you um, watching this video or being here today is that first thing. Well, I just show up. Let's see what happens. Um, important for me is also to trust myself when I'm trying to figure out um, and having fun while, uh, while figuring it out. And I think that really comes from my passion for impro theater, that when we play impro uh, theater, we don't know what's going to happen. We're literally figuring it out. Uh, one word, one minute, one second at a time. And the last, but the most important probably is to be being honest with yourself. Um, are those career aspirations really yours or are they coming from somewhere else? Is this something that you think you should want or is that something that you really res uh, identify with or you understand why you want to do that? Um, so yeah, if you are curious um, about the who you get to be while doing the job uh, question, Laura Berman's TED Talk is the one that I watched. And I also have her book of Now What? She has a 90-day also program on figuring out, um, kind of uh, knowing, helping you uh, figure out who you are and what you want and how to kind of get there step by step. Um, so I mentioned already the impro mindset. What is improv mindset? So those are some of the principles that help us uh, play theater, but also we can apply that in our life and ideation process uh, as well. Kind of like um, 
yeah, few, there are more rules, but the three ones that I selected and wanted to talk about is about listen and noticing more what's happening around you and now. So just noticing also what are the things that you're uh, enjoy doing or good at or noticing and listening and hearing maybe that some of your colleagues are telling you you do this part very good right um yes and is the most famous uh, impro concept of uh, building on ideas that are there and doing it one step at a time it doesn't mean saying yes to everything but just accepting that like okay this is the the reality uh what can i add on that to build upon what is already here and self-acceptance. When we play impro, we don't have time to be really judgy uh, or on ourselves or like, I should not have said that. Or ah, I didn't really figure out and read the, the room that maybe the scene was going somewhere else. We celebrate those failures and we just play again. Um, and I think that can be helpful also when we are looking for ideas when it comes to career. Um, so, oops. When we think about creating a career roadmap, we are going to look into checking in where I am now. Um, the next phase would be allow yourself to dream, to have that space. Like, what would you do if you knew what you wanted to do next? Um, and then the next step after that would be designing the way forward or playing around with it. Um, for those of you that were sharing in chat that you are looking also to see how you could niche or how you could enter L&D. So those questions around what are possible roles in L&D or titles or niches are something that we're not going to cover in this session. That's something that um, you are invited to continue research and also uh, with the help of L&D shakers. Um, we're going to spend most of the time in the first parts of really checking in to uh, maybe learning something more and new about yourself that could help you in the next phases, right? And then the last one is keep at it, checking in again. It's kind of like a, a loop maybe, right? And as a design thinking um, process of you just, you never really stop, right? Um, it's a journey where your compass is guiding you, but uh, from now, uh, from uh, you have to check in on your compass. Are you on the, on the track or maybe the North Star has moved, um, right? And, and the life at large also influences of um, what, what is important to you, uh, to you at any given uh, moment. So. I wanted to invite you now um, to take the piece of paper that I mentioned you will need. Um, so we're gonna spend the next uh, 10 minutes or so for this exercise where you get to uh, check in with yourself answering some of these questions, right? So um, you can, if you have a whole page, you can really just um, split it. Uh, I think there's something to writing with a pen I, I saw also, Krista said the same thing when she did the other career compass. We spent a lot of time on computers already. So take your pen or, or any kind of marker. And, and yeah, the first question, where I am now, you can write your role and why you are looking for a change, right? And in the, in the middle part of the page, what do I want to change and why? And, and then, of course, if you know already uh, your two, uh, your top three values, uh, something that is important to you that can help you guide in your decision making. Um, and I've added here, if you feel like stuck and I don't even know what I want, that's why I'm here. Sometimes knowing what you don't want is also a good place to start. So if you feel really stuck on the second in the middle part, just write down maybe two things or three things that you don't like at the moment in your job or career. And that can be the starting point to find out what do you want. So let's spend 10 minutes on that. I will try to put on some music uh, in the background. Um, and please share in chat if you have any questions uh, for now. As we are um, five minutes in, um, I wanted to move on to the next step part that you could also, if you already finished it, um, to either turn your page or however you organize your page, continue asking um, and dreaming up of the ideal part, the ideal day uh, visualizations that can help here, um, whatever works for you here. But the idea is that you, if you could have the ideal day at work, how could that look like? Starting from how you will wake up and at what time, where do you wake up? Uh, what are the some of the work uh, job tasks that you're doing? And most importantly, what kind of skills and strengths of your you get to 
utilize during that day. Um, and if you feel like drawing yourself in that ideal day, please feel free to do so on your page. Five minutes fly by really quickly. Uh, and <laughs> so it's definitely an invitation to, to continue this exploration and this uh, checking in with yourself also after the session um, and from time to time. We're going to move on from now. Um, please uh, feel free to continue this, like I said, uh, later on. Um, and I wanted to introduce some of the impro games um, for the next part, right? So we, and these impro games, of course, are not directly connected with the career topics, but by playing them, we can practice our playfulness and strengthen our ability to come up with ideas and be okay with whatever comes up, right? And be curious and stay curious of why this thing came up in this game. Um, and also when you're doing that, uh, that process of ideation for your career, why are these things uh, coming up, right? So for this um, exercise, um, we would need to do a pair up. And so I would like to send you to the breakout rooms to do that. Um, and the idea, um, the idea of the game is that you can also look at what you have written down so far, right? So we are thinking about, you have to pick two favorite things or strongest skills or values. Um, and when you're going to meet your partner in the breakout room together, you have to come up with new versions or new services or business ideas uh, that could support these two uh, or include these two words in the description of it. So for example, um, it can be as uh, simple words of, I don't know, a bed. Uh, my favorite thing is to sleep and I really like eating um, burgers, uh, sleeping and burgers. And then we just go for a couple of minutes and come up with uh, how many businesses that we can. So eat burgers while you sleep or sleepy burgers, uh, whatever that could be, just playing around with that, right? So there's no right or wrong. And the idea is that you uh, experiment and, and through playfulness for a couple of minutes only, uh, try to come up with uh, whatever things that you can combine in your two words. So each of you bring two, we, uh, two words um, and together you have four, so you can play around for two minutes. For this exercise, we are just going to do... Um, we're going to come up with some wisdom because we were um, talking just previously about what do we want to achieve professionally. A lot of quotes, a lot of ideas, a lot of good uh, suggestions and tips. We should come up with our own as well. It doesn't have to be around career, but it could be. So the thing is that we need three players. So first, let's find three volunteers. I can be one of them, but who else wants to play this game? It's just uh, maybe it's too scary for you to, to say yes before you know what it is. Everyone just will need to say one word at a time and we will not say more than six or 10 words. Okay, I see Jana and Isabella raise your hands. Thank you so much. So it's called Jever. Uh, Jever stands for uh, did you ever, uh, just shorter. So whoever will go first will say Jever and then the next person adds one word and the third one adds another word. And together we're looking for a quote of worldly wisdom or some kind of a sentence that would sound very profound, right? And we're looking at the, the person who will intonate the end of the sentence, that will be the end of the sentence. So around six or 10 words. So we can try out the first one. I will say Jever, Isabella, if you could go next and Iona, you after uh, Isabella. Let's, and then we continue until we feel like we finished the phrase. Jever. See. Si. Uh, moss. Bloom. Did you ever see moss bloom? That is something uh, that could become yes. kind of a wisdom. We can continue. Yes. Did you ever see uh, moss bloom in? In. Um, clouds. In clouds. Wow. Did you ever see uh, moss bloom in clouds? Great. Let's try another one. Isabel, do you want to start with Jever? Jever? Um, <laughs> uh, pizza? Being? 
eaten? Mm, season. Did you ever pizza eaten season? Being. You said a being. Being. Seen. I don't know. Anna Marie, did you get that? <laughs> How did that sound like? The first one was, did you ever see the most blooming clouds? Did you ever pizza? Being eaten. Pizza seasoned. being eaten season. That can be a haiku in itself. Beautiful. Iona, would you like to start another one with Jever? Uh, okay. Jever. Moon. Walk. Uh, uh, tripping. Stones. Did you ever moonwalk tripping stones? That could be a great first line of a song. Did you ever tripping moon? And uh, did you ever moonwalk tripping <laughs> stones? Right. Um, let's try another one. Jever. Flied. What? Fly. Ah. Uh, um. Uh, rainbows. Tail of unicorns. Of unicorns. That sounds like an ending to me, but we could continue. Did you ever fly rainbow's tail of unicorns? How beautiful. Um, thank you so much for participating in this exercise. We thank you for sharing those wisdom pearls in chat, Anna Maria. That's great. So yeah, coming back to what we were talking before we played some improv games, right? how to get closer to your goals if they, as they are uh, emerging, maybe from what you wrote down already, um, is always to think about small steps, small mini goals. Um, a lot of times when the goal is like, I'm going to change career, it just, just sounds and feels too big to even know where to start. So what is the small um, step that you can take today? or next week to move closer to that ideal day that you described. And when we think about setting those mini goals, we think about the SMART um, as the acronym, right? Um, uh, about goals being specific, measurable, achievable, and relevant, and time-bound. So if I just think about by the end of next week, what could be something specific that I can do and measurable in a sense of like, maybe I want to talk to one person that works in the role that I'm interested in. It's achievable because I have time next week uh, to maybe first find that person. It's relevant because I'm curious about the area they're working and I will, I will commit to making that uh, happen and by the time that I have dedicated to that, right? So I think a lot of you already know this. We have a lot of um, L&D people here. It's just like a little reminder. And I think also for if there's any reflection for today's uh, kind of uh, what we already covered, when and how much time will I dedicate to explore these career questions further, right? Or for those of you that already coming here today as checking in of where you are, how do you create that reoccurring meeting in your calendar with yourself? And you get to decide also how, what's the design of that meeting. Do you take yourself out to your favorite coffee shop or you take yourself out for, for a great walk? Um, and, and also how do you then, you know, make it joyful, something that you look forward to spending that time with yourself. Uh, where will you take your notes uh, and how are you gonna, mm, yeah, build on your knowledge of like what you're learning, right? When we. Some of you, you that ask about niching or a specific roles, there's a lot of learning um, to be done also about the practicalities of different jobs. So if I keep on reading about um, different roles in L&D at large, how do I keep track of how are they different, right? If we're, again, coming from a completely different field, it can be overwhelming at times. So either create your notion page or create a mirror board, actual nice paper uh, notebook, whatever works for you. And then the third point, but not the least, is who can support me in? You don't have to do this on your own. 
Um, either you uh, engage an accountability partner, someone who is also curious um, and always wants to check in about career topics, um, a friend of yours, or also um, maybe a coach or mentor. Um, L&D Checkers community is a great place to also find your accountability partner. People on this call also could become your accountability partners if you are looking for that support. Um, and yeah, we also have coaching project coming up and this session is part of the L&D Shakers mentorship program, right? So there are people that have already expressed that they have time and they want to help you uh, align on your next steps. So uh, take use of that uh, community power that we are all co-creating. Bye, Rahab. So as we're um, coming down uh, closer to the end of the hour, Note down what is your one learning or insight that you will take away from today to continue your discovery process. Um, and if you could share that in the chat, that would be great so we can see um, how we can learn from each other. Um, I saw also that uh, Maya, and you're saying that you're not sure what was the purpose of the previous game. So the, the Jabber game um, is again activating and practicing that uh, improv mindset that can help us. Um, being okay with not knowing what's going to happen next. We were building the Jever uh, wisdom sentence one word at a time, and we just made sense of it at the end somehow. And the way that it came out was brilliant. So we're practicing and learning and, uh, and strengthening that sense of like, whatever comes, it's fine. I'll figure it out one word at a time, one step at a time. Trust the process exactly. Um, and not be hard on yourself of like, I should have said a, a verb and I said a noun. Oh, not, be, not, not being stuck in that part, but like, hmm, I said um, a noun where I could have said a verb, but it still made sense, right? Embracing those failures as, and celebrating those as, as learnings as well. So yeah, meet date as a takeaway, trust the process, don't limit myself on what I'm doing now. Yes, using improv mindset to broaden my aspirations, right? Yeah, this uh, it's really uh, has been um, for me as well, takeaway uh, watching that TED talk that Anna Maria shared earlier as well of Laura Berman's uh, saying that who you get to be while you're doing the job, it's really, uh, has really helped me. I'm happy to share that further. And it's okay to not know totally. Yeah, learning to be in the unknown during the career search is so important. Embracing the failures. Thank you so much for sharing all those learnings. Yeah, okay. I'm, uh, I'm taking a way to step out of what I think I want or should do and really reflect on that and think in a different way. Yeah, being curious about yourself in that me date, uh, me time, you can really uh, meet yourself and just have that conversation. Routine check-ins. Yeah, and I it's okay to not know what you want and, and be okay figuring it out one step at a time. Yeah, I will amplify the good parts on my career. Exactly, everybody is already doing something. So a lot of times we feel like, oh, I have to change everything, but maybe within the role that you in the company that you're in, you can already find uh, and explore new ways of maybe activating more of your skills that you want to see uh, being used in your daily life. Yeah, the ideation with two words, so with business ideas, we had great ones, right? Who wouldn't want to have uh, the musical cheese uh, shop or something like that? Uh, yeah, and make it fun, exactly. Thank you so much for sharing all your learnings. I will now stop the recording and we can uh, also have um, a chat about it.